Visual supports at home, timers. Are we there yet? What's next? How much longer until we are finished? Does your child quickly switch activities? Timers can help. Timers tell us what time it is, how much time has gone by, and how much time is left. There are digital timers and visual timers. Timers can help a child to stay focused and on task, avoid distractions, and build stamina and reduce stress. They are also great for teaching, waiting, showing when transitions will come, rewards, creating a daily schedule, changes in time, and helping with anxiety. Some children do not understand numbers or the passage of time, so visual timers can help there. Many children do not understand what it means to actually wait three minutes. What is three minutes? But visual timers can help show minutes going away right in front of you. Timers are everywhere in your home. Take a look around your home and see where you can find them. Let's take a closer look. There are timers built into your appliances, your microwave and the oven. Look around in the bedroom and you may find an alarm clock while your mobile device has timers built right in. For your child who has a sense of numbers, then these digital timers may be useful to you. Set a timer for scheduling a break or how long to work in an activity. Knowing how long that you are at an activity can help the child focus on the actual activity, not when the time is up. You can break homework tasks into manageable time slots, such as 20 minutes work, 10 minutes break, and then use a timer to stay on the schedule. The timers built into the stove or handheld digital timer is not adequate for everyone. The use of visual timers, like you see on this slide, makes time meaningful by letting children see time passing. A visual timer represents time with the pie that gets smaller and smaller as it gets used up. Numbers may even go backwards as well. For example, the time timer framed in red in the center is an example of time flying away. Do you have any board games with sand timers hanging around? Watching time going away slowly can be a calming technique and even helps your child get the work done. Use the clock function on a mobile device and even help your child get their work done. Follow along on your number line with your finger to help your child track how long until you are finished. You could even count with your fingers. Don't forget that you can even use a visual timer on your computer. Here are some resources to help you get started using timers. Always remember, your child doesn't have to be the one who sets the timer or programs the timer to actually use the timer. You can get some additional resources on timers listed here, as well as on the Assistive Technology Services internet site. Don't forget to follow ATS on Twitter at ATS underscore FCPS for more ideas about timers, as well as many other ATS topics. Time to go. Time to set my timer.